if you're able to stop someone from scrolling, that should be a really value. That's really important and you should definitely, definitely find ways to do that more. Let me get down, man. Hey, what's good? This is Brook Boy. I know this is a little bit weird because I usually just upload beats on this channel, but from now on, I'm gonna start showing my face a little bit more. I'm gonna start talking more to up and coming artists and up and coming producers and just sharing my, exper my experiences going up the ladder, if you will, of this massive industry. I'm currently sitting at about 800 something subscribers, about two and a half K followers on Instagram, but I just wanna share with you guys the journey of going up the ladder. This whole series is gonna involve a lot of marketing tricks, a lot of social media presence stuff, social media optimization, everything I learn, I will be sharing with you. I think this will be extremely valuable for up and coming rappers. And I think this is a good point to start today, which is social media um, profile optimization for up and coming artists. As a producer myself, I spend a good amount of time every single week researching artists and trying to find artists I really want to work with. And this is something a lot of producers do, but a lot of artists don't realize is producers spend time finding artists to work with. I know there's a lot of um, up and coming rappers out there and artists who believe that if I make good music, the people will come to me. They don't think about um, their image or how they interact online. It doesn't matter, right? If your music's good, people should be coming to your music. But that's not true, unfortunately. You could be making the best music ever. You could be, you could have the highest quality music. You could have the most experimental, most experimental, the cleanest sounding songs out there. But if no one knows they exist and no one knows of you, then you're probably not getting any streams. You're probably really struggling. And what I've come to realize is that a lot of independent artists don't spend enough time researching what they need to do in order to put themselves out there. Either they don't know or they're scared by the idea of it and they feel like they're not experts in it, therefore they will never be able to do it. But what you have to understand as an up and coming artist or a producer or just an independent anything, you really have to fill a lot of roles at the same time, which can get very hectic and requires a lot of uh, practice and a lot of um, habit building. But once you do actually fulfill those roles, you realize how much work has to be done behind the scenes in order to make something happen. So today we're talking about social media profile optimization. I keep hearing a lot of up and coming artists and producers say that this industry is like super oversaturated. It's impossible to become an artist right now. It's impossible to become a rapper right now, which is definitely harder because, um, well, actually it's arguable whether it's harder because now you got social media, so it's much easier to put yourself out there. Everyone has access to it. But at the same time, there's so many people trying to become rappers, trying to become producers. The internet's flooded with new music every single day. These are kind of like a few tips and tricks to get you started uh, on your path to being discovered. Right, so tip number one is having a professional looking profile photo. I don't mean like a suit and a tie, but I do imply showing your face in your profile photo preferably in high quality, a good picture, just hire a photographer, hire a friend, invest a little bit of money in your career and get some high quality looking portrait photos of you. Just make sure your profile photo shows your face. That way people listening to your music can attach a face to the sound. This is extremely important, it'll help you stand out. Cause I scroll, I scroll through Instagram every single day trying to find new artists. A bunch of these new artists have even, either like private profiles with like blank photos or they'll have like a close up of like an eye or I don't know, like they'll have just like a plain color. Stop trying to replicate what big artists do. Big artists don't care about their social media presence cause that's handled for them. Playboy Cardi can have a plain red color as his profile photo and he'll still be just as popular if not more. The average up and coming artist can't do that cause they don't have the popularity. They don't have that image of Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi has this whole thing with red right now with like albums or whatever. You have to understand where you stand, what kind of brand you're trying to build and the importance of attaching a face to that brand. My current profile photo is a picture of my face, but I've tried to like give my own spin on it, make it like a little bit more minimal black and white. So I drew a picture of my face. Now a professional looking profile photo will help people get to your profile easier on Instagram. It'll push them into pressing on your name when they come across you online. It'll just give them a sense of professionality and seriousness when it comes to your own rap career. Tip number two is kind of linked to tip number one. So you need to have the high quality looking profile photo and you need to have this consistent across all your platforms. For the longest I didn't do this. Now even before you tell your followers you have a SoundCloud, you have a YouTube, you have a whatever, people will try to look you up on those platforms. You want people who find you on SoundCloud to be able to automatically link you to your Instagram page. For example in my case I know there's another broke boy producer, there's a few other broke boy producers, but there's one uh, relatively big and he has his whole like lo-fi thing 
thing going on and I have my own path. This is kind of where this comes in, like your profile photo, the way you talk online, the, the posts you make, the type of music you make, all of these play a role into shaping and forming your brand. Make sure your profile photo is consistent across all platforms so people don't, don't mix you up with other artists. It's easier to spot you online. When people come across your photo on SoundCloud and people come across your photo on YouTube, they can automatically make that connection. They know it's you, they know you have some sort of presence online. So that definitely helps. And last but not least, this sounds very obvious. Make sure the links you have on your social media platforms are always consistent. They're always updated. They always redirect you to where they need to go. For example, a lot of artists on Instagram claim if you follow the link in their bio, it'll take you to more of their music. Nine times out of 10, that link's either broken or it takes you to a random ass video. I've even come across artists who don't have a link in their bio and claim the link in their bio will send you to, to their music. The amount of effort it takes for someone to come to your profile and press on that link and get redirected outside of Instagram or outside of whatever other platform they find you on and take the time to listen to your music that should be really valuable to you. You need to be able to have a link that's well set up. It takes you to a page where it's easy to find your music, easy to listen to your music, build some sort of familiarity with your brand so that click is not wasted. That's extremely important. I feel like a lot of people don't spend time to understand the value clicks have on social media. If you're able to stop someone from scrolling, that should be a really value. That's really important and you should definitely, definitely find ways to do that more. Make sure you take your time with your profile. I know your craft is extremely important. Music takes time and I definitely understand that. But at the same time, you shouldn't sleep on your social media presence. Unfortunately or fortunately, we're in the content-based world. People want to see things. People want to see you online. People want to hear from you online. So make sure you spend time to creating content, quality content, make sure you're offering some sort of value. If people hit you up on your DMs, make sure you reply to them. If people comment on your things, make sure you reply, um, positive or negative. Don't let it affect you. Keep doing your thing. Keep staying active online. That'll definitely help. And along with the three tips I gave you, this will definitely get you to the right path. I'll see you soon.